Hello Year 7. This is this week's work. The first thing you've got to do is read a news article. I want you to look at this news article on the screen, pause the video and look out for anything that you think might be strange about this article. This should take you two to three minutes, so pause the video now. Okay, you should have already looked at this now and read through this news article. Now, you should have hopefully noticed that this was created in 2018, in September. It's also a fake news article, it's not real. It's trying to mislead you, so don't worry, Snapchat is not going to be becoming paid. I want you to think about why would somebody create a news article like this, which is fake. Here are a few more tweets that are also fake. None of these are true. And it's strange because they're even coming from authenticated accounts which have that blue tick. Now a lot of companies want you to click on news articles to give them traffic. Websites gain money through people clicking onto their websites and seeing adverts. So quite a lot of the time people will want you to go through to that adverts and sometimes this can be called clickbait. You might have seen this um, regularly, particularly if re recently if you're a football fan and you've been watching the transfer window. People want you to read articles. Likewise this is a fake text message that has come through. It's actually called a phishing text. Have a read of it. What do you think's wrong with this message? You should have paused the video and read this message. Now hopefully you have noticed that it says dear and then there's a space so it's not addressed to anybody. So it looks like it's been sent to lots of people. It's got somebody random's name, Alexander's phone. You've been signed into Alexander's phone and then it gives you a link to click on. However, look at the link. It's appleid.ios-icloud-server. It doesn't look like an Apple link. And we can also see that at the top of the message, there's a massive long email address, which is clearly not from Apple. If you were to click on this message, it might cause you to get a virus, or it might give somebody access to your phone. And there's another message here. So, again, a different message, and these are all called phishing. It's trying to hook you in to get you to click on the link. So I want you to pause this video and give me a definition of what phishing is. You might want to do a little bit more research on the internet. Now you'll be able to find this slide in your student workbook. You should log into Google Classroom and then find your class. Click on the Classwork tab at the top and scroll down and look for the one that says Student Workbook eSafety. When you click on that, you'll see your name here and it will open up the workbook. You then need to scroll to slide number 8. Have a look at this and then give your definition. Pause the video and complete that definition for me. Okay, you should have completed this task now. Now you're starting to think a little bit more about the reliability of data, I want you to go on to slide number nine. There are four different websites. I want you to click on each of the websites and decide which one of these do you think is the true website. Three of them are fake. Pause the video now click on the different links and see if you can use your detective skills to figure out which ones are real. Here's the tree octopus one. Now this is fake. We can tell it's fake because some of the, itch, the images have been changed, there's not much information and actually one of the best ways to check if something is real is actually to go onto Google. If I type in tree octopus you're actually going to see that it is an internet hoax, so it's not the real one. If I go on to Dog Island, the second one, now every time you go on it's always sunny and clear, nothing ever changes on this, and again this is a hoax website. Finally, Google Gnome. There isn't a Google Gnome. This was actually an April Fool's Day prank. Look at the date. 
It was released on March 31st, the day before April Fool's Day. So there's our hint. Actually, the real one is the piglet squid. It's on a news website. Now that doesn't mean it's always going to be true. However, if you look at it, you can actually see that it looks like a, a real animal. So, hopefully you should have figured out and start, be starting to think about what is real and what is unreal. That finishes today's lesson.